All right, the developer asked me to play the Absinthia demo. I don't know why they asked me to play this when I didn't play Night Bewitched yet. Though I sh try should try to get to it eventually. Also, I have no idea why there are black borders even on full screen. So, Anana, what are we doing again? I already told you, Jerry. No, you didn't. Oh my, I suppose I did forget. Now go light those torches over there, would you? Hurry up, Jerry, we have work to do. I can't enter the menu. I can enter this house, though. No one's in it, so I suppose this is where they live. Okay, what if I run off to the... Uh, uh, to go off rails? Nope. What if I try to talk to this first? Nope. Good, now light the one up ahead too. Now I can light it. Good, we have just enough light. Oh heaven, shame on us for letting our loved one's graves get so filthy. Come over here, dear. A mother should never have to bury her own children, Sarah. You were only a child when the accident took them away from us. Every day, every night, I think about them. They love you so much, more than you'll ever know. Oh, why must the world be so cruel? Nana. I'll finish wiping off your father's grave. Be a dear and clean up your grandpa's up there next to the tree, would you? Hmm, every... Uh, I can read all these, huh? Elizabeth... Uh, Caddis. Durian Caddis. Irma Caddis. Wait, Nana! Yes, there is only a yell. My ears haven't given out yet. But this grave... Oh, I must be imagining things. All the words appear to be gibberish. What the? That was weird. Wait, why is it all gibberish all of a sudden? Hmm. This one. This is the only one that could work. And it looks like there's a house back there, but how do I get to it? It looks completely blocked off. Frank Caddis, a quote inscribed on a tombstone. Peace begets knowledge. Struggle reveals potential. Life is difficult. When you have the opportunity to choose, do so. This is my difficulty selection. Is it possible to change it later? Hard mode for experienced JRPG enthusiasts. Proceed, yes. I don't know how hard, balanced hard will be. Is it, uh, is it the difficulty the game is balanced on, or is it just, an, uh, just some kind of... Uh, post-balancing difficulty, where you just slap on a multiplayer and hope for the best. No, no, the grave's already clean. Actually, didn't we just clean them yesterday? Oh, you're right, we did, didn't we? Oh, weren't we silly? My rag's all worn out. Go to the cabin over there and fetch us some new ones, would you? But I just said... It's fine, dear. There's no need to worry. Now let me have a moment alone with your grandfather. Hmm. Oh, Frank, it's been far too long. Is, there, is the grandma already a ghost? Where's the towels again? Oh, why do I keep forgetting about this? Nana, there aren't any rags in the... Nana? The, the lights went out. Why are they attacking grandma? Nana? Nana! Sarah! Time to wake up! Your friends are here! A bad dream? No, I didn't oversleep, did I? Were you having that nightmare again? 
Oh, um, nope, not this time. Is there a TV? Well, then I suppose all the noise I heard was you wrestling up in that suit of armor then. Heavens, how can you possibly possibly sleep in that? Wants to be ready for combat at any time, right? She's awake, boys. Con come on up. Uh, but still, this, uh, this black border is going to be uh, difficult to uh, uh, to deal with. I'm gonna if I want to get into 448 people without black borders, I'll have to use a Vidamux to uh, crop and then enlarge it. Thanks for keeping us w waiting, sleepyhead. Sorry, guys. I can't believe I overslept. No worries. Shake would have slept in too. Had I not woke him up. Hey, at least I did sleep. True. I was up all night with anxiety. Hey, now I don't feel so bad. So can you boys explain to me again what's happening today? According to Freya, Lola should be on the move today, assuming she's approaching from the north. She'll reach Northwood by this afternoon, and Kadi town by evening. Our goal is to stop her before she reaches town. Freya could stop Lola's invasion single-handedly like she did before, but she's been training us for the past few months. And she believes we're ready to join her in the fight. What if we get taken hostage? I have a lot of respect for a hero of Kadi Town, but I still don't appreciate her putting my granddaughter in danger like this. We'll be fine, Nana, I promise. If we can all stop Lola today, there's no way she'll ever come back. I'm just worried about you, dear. If anything happened to you, I'd... If it helps, Freya instructed us to run at the first sign of serious danger. Not that we'll need to. Well, I suppose I'll leave you free yourselves. I'll be downstairs. Sorry guys, this is so embarrassing. Don't sweat, I wish my grandma uh, ever worried about me like that. My parents feel the same way she does, it's hard for them. We'll have to pr we have to prove ourselves worthy. So what's the plan then? Are we going straight to Northwood? Freya's waiting for us there, but there's still it's still early in the morning. We have plenty of time to tie up any loose ends around town. And plenty of time for your bedhead to go away. Hey, at least my hair doesn't stand up as much as yours. No duh, my head spikes are all natural. Once we're ready to leave, we can take the south exit out of town and follow the trail straight to Northwood. Can I just... Can I use the bed to heal it for free? Hmm. Few on east, the Eastport Isles are as empathetic and driven to protect their home as Sarah is. She eagerly follows Freya's example to become a brave warrior in her own right. Sarah prefers to defend her allies in her own way, by taking enemy attacks and paying them back twofold. If knowledge were truly powered, Thomas's inquisitive nature would have him the most powerful person on the Eastport Isles. He's captivated with learning the true story of his great-grandfather Morgoth, a wizard who supposedly died of insanity. In battle, Thomas can use a variety of magics to protect and destroy. The youngest child out of a family of eight, Jake left his family 18 years old and stood away in a ship headed for the Eastport Isles. While not overly fond of people, he's unusually cl close to his partner Thomas. Jake's spying style is unpredictable and gen yet gen surprisingly effective at striking enemies and inflicting ailments. Tells you th uh, how much damage and healing it'll do. Boost strength and counter attack. It d does it even cost anything? Huh. It seems like you can just buff for free with this one. Focus also a f uh, for free. Yeah, all of them have some kind of. Uh, 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 some kind of recovery action that's for free. MP recovery. Hmm. Shuriken, he's uh, a thief ninja hybrid. We don't have a lot of MP though. Do we start with a set amount of MP or do we get more as we level up? And why is there a TV here? What level of technology are we working with? Spare suit of armor identical to what Sarah's wearing. Your armor comes to, it came from Freya, right? Yep, she never wore any of it. Apparently she didn't like the way they were designed. Yeah, no kidding. I guess they're a little too revealing for her taste, huh? Is everyone already equipped with basic gear? Yeah. Kitchen knife. There's no, he doesn't have a kitchen, so there's no telling where these came from.
bestiary weapons. Be careful, dear. If anything were to happen, I'll, I just don't know uh, if my heart could take it. Motivational poster. Live, laugh, love. Ooh, couldn't your grandma have found a poster that was a little less cliche? Nana loves this poster. I wouldn't trade for anything. Is Nana really fated to die in this game? 15G. Wait, I better check upstairs. That chest really camouflages a bit too well of the floor, if you ask me. Can I pick any of these? No. I'm hanging this shadow that peeked through my window the night we were attacked. I was so afraid then. There's just something about turning my fears into drawings that make them easier to overcome. We don't have a whole lot of money. Is that even enough to afford any upgrades? Papa told me he used to work in the mine south of here, but it got shut down when too many monsters moved in. He told me they left a lot of valuable stuff there. I wonder if we'll ever get any of it back. It's a spittoon. It's covered in a tarry black substance. You know, tobacco spit. Why are we looking inside the spittoon again? I am well. Hey look, there's something shiny in there. So? So maybe it's something useful. Are you kidding? Do you, are, do you think you're playing some kind of slapstick spaghetti western game? I agree with Jake. No one in the right mind would put anything valuable inside a spittoon. It's not worth getting your hands covered in filth. Hmm, you're always afraid of getting dirty. I'm gonna fish out on my own. How bad was it? Fire gem. It's covered in tobacco spit. Yuck. Oh, okay, I'm gonna, gonna barf. Totally worth it. Fire damage based on intellect, so I should have Thomas use it if I want to conserve his MP, huh? But I always forget to use consumable items, even for attacking. Howdy ho, youngins, what can I get for ya? Ugh. This carved staff is the only weapon upgrade we have. Oh, we don't even have any starter equipment or supplies, huh? Today's a big day, huh? Here, have yourself a drink on me. Okay, good, we got dry ether for free. Thanks, Uncle Gary, but you don't really have to give this to us. Nonsense, I want you to have it. Besides, that woman is bad for business. If she comes back, we might end up with no one to sell them to. We'll do our best. Ah, uh, door. I can't get to that house, though. Why, why do they make houses that are blocked off by obstacles? I wish Grandpa Gary would take us to Eastport. He says it's too dangerous because there's pirates there. It's crazy to think that Lilith only managed to mess up the old cabin north of the cemetery. If I'd known her minions were that weak, I might not have hid under my bed the whole time. Town Cemetery... Freya's house. Jake, may I ask what you're doing? I don't know, I'm such a habit of looking through people's things I don't even think about anymore. What's this bottle? Spiral... Spirano what? Put that down and get away from Freya's dresser. Ugh, fine. A letter. It's a sack of letters, each adorned with a heart-shaped stamp. Heart-shaped stamp? Does Freya have a secret admirer? Ain't me. I admire her for her strength and leadership, but not in the way those letters would suggest. Jeez, I hope so. It's a shelf stock of... Helonian wine. Most of it is Chardonnay. There's a single ball of absinthe in the back. It feels oddly appropriate. It's a large collection of various kitchen appliances and utensils. Freya sure uh, does love to cook. Maybe I should ask her to teach me someday. What the? It's a secret path? Jake's house? Your house is a mess, Jake. You really should clean it up more often. I mean, I'll get around to it. Also, there's a big hole in the back. Yep, it's my latest project. It's not finished yet, but you can come check it out if you want. Jake, whose wine bottle is this? What do you mean, whose wine bottle is this? It's, my, it's in my house. It's mine. Do you steal it? No, I bought this from Gary's last week. Hmm, all right then. What? 
Why is there a mushroom? So now check out, it's my man cave. Is that the f tutorial enemy? Man cave? Yeah, it's a place where us pals can get together and do fun stuff. Pretty sweet, huh? There's a mushroom monster growing there. I think you may have taken the phrase man cave too literally. Yeah, also that- is that mushroom supposed to be there? Uh, yeah, I want- I meant to take care of that. Could you guys- Of course, we'll help you clear it out. Awesome, I knew you would. Chocolate coin? That's my gold coin stash. I guess you can, all can have a few. They look melted. Jake, these aren't gold coins, they're chocolate. What? Well- oh, well, duh, of course I knew that, huh? Hey, I'm not complaining, I love chocolate. I don't remember you owning a torch. Where did this come from? I, uh, found it. Jake, at least tell me you didn't steal it from somebody we know. I didn't steal a jerk. Stop accusing me of stealing things. But it's literally your job title. Y I, I, you're right. I'm sorry. I must learn to trust you better. Thank you. Are we really going to be able to win with our basic bitch equipment? Yeah, with this kind of equipment, the this mushroom could actually kill us. Problem is, I don't think there's a way to increase my aggro, is there? Repose day. Meditation. Focus. Oh, come on, they all just got ganged up on Thomas. What the hell? Yeah, since there's no way to increase my aggro, repose day does not really help as much as I was hoping it would. I already have to s heal myself. Uh. Shuriken. Yeah, this is not going according to plan. Ah, everyone is poisoned. Please tell me it wears off after battle. Okay, we got some I starter items, though, so that's good. Bean juice. Okay, it wore off, but man, we got wounded and burned through a lot of resources. Boost agility, luck, and evasion for five turns. Restore 25 hit point. Is this enemy going to respawn? That was pretty strong for a starter enemy, but maybe if I grind a bit, I'll be able to stand a chance. Collector knife, okay. Why is this knife- why is the knife my parents bought you for your 21st birthday in a chest outside? You should be equipping it so we could kill- so we can kill mushrooms faster. But no, I just felt like putting it out here. Plus, if I carry it around too long, I'm afraid I might lose it. Anyway, do- do you like the chest? I carved it out myself. Of course, it's quite elegant. Plus, wait, oh no, it has a speed penalty. So, upgrading my armor lo lowers my speed. It does not respawn, but I still need to find a place to heal up. Thomas's house. It's a large assortment of books. Most of them are right magic related, but a few cover topics like mental health and illnesses. Anyone ever tell you you have too many books? You have so many books, you, uh, books. You use them as books as bookmarks for other books. Pray to help expand my tome collection in free fold. I've read them all. I'm afraid I don't have much else to learn. Perhaps I should lend you some, Jake. Your magic could use some refinement. Pass. Ring makes me sleepy. I much rather you teach me instead. Uh, we can certainly arrange that. And this book might be useful. I'll bring it with us. Dictionary. I don't like this, Thomas. Not one bit. I know you're worried about me, Father. Of course I'm worried about you, but it's not just that. I saw her, Thomas. Her name's Lilith, right? She had a wicked grin on her face. Like, this is all just a game to her. You can go, you go up there and give her a good thrashing, alright? Knock her teeth out. Leave it to me, Pops. I'll be the teeth knocker. Keep an eye on Thomas for me. I'm counting on you. Jake, you, you're filthy. You really should take a bath. You know you can use ours anytime you want. Thanks, I'll, I'll uh, think about it. You should really convince him to clean up more often, Thomas. He's liable to get sick. I've tried more, but he is quite stubborn. Damn right I am. 
I know, I know. You free stay safe, all right? But free to do hard work. If you ever even come home with as much as a scratch, we'll be fine, Mother. Thank you. Don't worry about us. If we need to run, I'll gra just grab Thomas and take off. Mayor's house. It's been six months since the Lord first attacked us. If not for Freya, Kadi Town wouldn't be here today. As the mayor of Kadi Town, I'm honored that you three were willing to train under Freya. Especially you, Jake. I never thought I'd see the day where you'd be the one to take up arms for us. And I don't mention it. Besides, if it weren't for Thomas, I'd probably still be lying around my hut. Jake never wanted anything to do with anyone until I introduced him to Thomas. He's grown so much. And they make such a cute couple. Thank heavens for you then, Sarah. Because if I caught Jake in my wine cellar again... Hey, come on. Can we talk about something else now? Good morning. Good, good thing Mayor Griswold hired me from Arfenas to clean, clean up around here. That crazy lady you all are spooked about really did a number on you. Please don't have a penalty. Okay, good. Just free healing. When it was your age, these islands were called the Eastport Isles. Oh, how time flies. Once Kaitan or Fenis up north got settled, we started calling them the Ambrose Isles, and the name stuck. You think Eastport would have a problem with that, but nope. Even they agreed that name change helped put the islands on the map. Oh, sorry for the history lesson. Anywho. Go ahead and take anything out of the cabin behind the graveyard. We'll have to the number on it, so it won't last much longer. Buckler. Wait, there's a slime there. They won't make this easy, will they? Free! Oh, nice dodge, but you're bleeding. Ah. Oh no. Good. Nice. Oh, even the regular enemies are kind of kicking my butt right now. Oh no, is this a pushing puzzle? I think it is. That means I better save. Okay, fortunately, autosave does not seem to overwrite the previous manual slide I used. That's a good quality of life thing there. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's the default of MZ, though. Also, what's that green one? Is that, does that even contain anything? Vaporizer. Instantly destroy weak enemies. Uh, yes. If they're already weak enough, then I don't even need it in the first place, do I? Life spring. I knew there was something there. Oh, I can jump these. Two twenty-five G. By a carved staff. Are 
Order of Rem encounters on the world map? I see a cave to the south, but they said that we have to go north to find the plot. I don't want to go there until we get another party member, though. What if I try to break the plot by going elsewhere? Eastport Bluffs. Hmm. They actually will let us break, uh, uh, break sequence, huh? Okay, what does this say? Northwood. Okay, they actually do tell you your objective here. Was it? Is there any advantage to trying to go to the other places early? I highly doubt it. I'd rather just go north to, to, to north to recruit Freya if possible. Wait, the bridge itself? Do enemies respawn in this game at all? Hmm. They're all blocking important paths here and there. Hey, you gonna join my party? Freya! Good morning, you're running a little late. What took you so long? Someone decided to sleep in today. Hush, you, you know I had a hard time falling asleep. And one of us never slept at all. You weren't supposed to tell her that. Now she might, might not let us fight. Don't worry, Jake, it's too late to turn you away now, wouldn't you agree? Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's show her what we're made of. Hold on, sleepyhead. I said I'd let you fight with me, but first I need to make sure you're actually awake. Are you going to be the boss here? Pull that trail below the river. It'll lead you around up north to the big bridge. Isn't that risky? What wolf appears before we reach the bridge? So we have to take the long way as a test. We have plenty of time left. If I had to bet, she won't arrive for at least a few more hours. Don't worry too much about it. Think of this like a practice run before the real deal. Like I said, just follow the path, that path and meet me at the big bridge north of here. Oh, and take this. You might need it. Manual. Oh, I can adjust difficulty. Like I said, just follow the path and meet me at the big bridge north of here. Don't keep me waiting. What were the other locations? Are they worth visiting right now, or should I avoid them? So I can change the difficulty here if I need to. Okay. Seems pretty basic. Very, uh, a very basic uh, uh, damage formula, it looks like. Red is physical, blue is intellect, green deals uh, uses both stats. Hmm. Both four alleys are KO'd, it's game over. Curse keeps us from recovering resources, not good. Hmm. They'll prevent team attacks. Our status effects may reduce status strength or agility. Most status effects will wear off after a certain number of turns. All status effects, including knockout, are removed after battle. Change difficulty. Story mode. Normal hard. X does not actually exit out of this dialog box. I have to manually select that option. Okay, I can still leave whenever I want to heal. That might be a good idea. I don't know how many resources I'll need to actually win. Difficulty only affects enemy stats, but not their experience drops, right? I bet it's the same kind of mob, right? Oh, it's Mushroom and Slime this time. I wonder if it's better to just use my skills right from the start just to quickly eliminate one threat from the game permanently. Will I still deal enough damage? I don't know if that was a good idea. It might be wasteful. And I didn't even get that much experience. I get 10 for winning that battle on hard mode. I'm gonna see if going to easy mode affects anything. Story. 
weaker. They don't respawn? What the heck? Like, in that case, I should probably reload and test it on again. No, we get the same experience no matter what mode we're on. Okay. That's good to know. Some people actually reduce the experience on higher difficulties just to make it, uh, like, exponentially grindier. Yeah, it might be best to use this mode to conserve resources to some extent. I don't think there's a penalty for changing difficulty, is there? Yeah, I'm the person who likes to do normal battles on the lower difficulty just to save on resources in the long run. It means we'll repopulate upon entering the world map. Entering the world map? Whoever wrote this was high on something. Wait, is that true? Because I re I re-entered it before and it didn't repopulate. Look at that, it disappeared forever. Are you sure about this? Are you sure that oh huh, that doesn't seem right. And that looks like a one-way drop from a ledge. Potion. Hmm, yeah, I should probably report this. That does not seem right. I they did not. N maybe not all of them repopulate. Maybe uh, the ones that block really important paths do not repopulate at all. That way you can still tromp through a, a location without w having to use up resources. I don't know. I'm not sure what the thought process here is. Because I'm sure this will just be another enemy I fought before. 25G. Life spring. Yeah, to win my path. YOLO! Ephers. Giant bone. Hmm. Ignore the fence. Northwood saber. It's actually made of wood, though. Yup, it is. But it's stronger than what I have now. I grab everything in this room. Yeah, I did. Red Gala. What is that thing? Okay, you have to warn us that this is a one-time use thing and give us an option to refuse it. Some people might not want to use up these one-time heal options so quickly. They might want to save it for after they kill every single enemy on the screen. I feel like that would be common sense. Only three save slots? Hmm. That feels a little small. Oh, I'm probably gonna level heal up right after I beat this guy and get experience anyways. Potion. Tome of Nature. Armor. Hmm, it's 
it's an offhand that gives MP regen. Wait, I can actually go down here. We now have a shortcut that we can use. Okay. If I ever need to go back out and do more grinding. Hold up, I actually missed some areas back here. Ether. Whoops, I actually missed that entire slime. Tonic and Fire Gem. Okay, that is actually everything this time. Hey, actually, some of them did respawn, but not all of them. The one going through this path did not respawn. But the one here did. That's very weird. Not all of them seem to respawn consistently. Do those seem like the ones that guard important... Uh, yeah, it, Strange that that one... Uh, it, it's both the important and optional paths are blocked off now by the, uh, by the respawned enemies. Except for this one, in particular. Huh. Yes. Fifteen G. I know you're gonna challenge me to a boss fight, either that or fi or ha have a fight, Lilith. Welcome back, you look exa exhausted. You, you don't say. We, we're wide awake now, that's for sure. Good, let's see let's use what time we have to rest before the big event, shall we? Battle on the big bridge, or rather small actually a small bridge. Frey, are you sure that's that Lilith's coming? To be honest, I was wondering how you knew she'd be here today. What did she uh, post it, uh, uh, on her social media that she'd be attacking us today at a certain time? Lilith is predictable. When there was still Helonian night, she was known to strike us on the thirteenth of every month. Why is she such a, such a stickler for routine? Ah, uh, today's the 13th. Lilith fled to the islands looking for a new prey. She thought Kaidi Town would be new, easy prey. Knowing her, she'll want revenge. But what if she doesn't show up? What if she comes tomorrow instead? What if she takes a different path to Kaidi Town? Are you worried about your grandmother? Yeah, Donna's the only family I have left. I have to keep her safe. If I can't even do that, then... Sarah. God, if only we had more knights, more guards to, 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 co to cover the town. You're a strong and compassionate woman, Sarah. I think your mother, grandmother knows that. She must be so proud of you. I can assure you that no harm will come to your grand... You jinx it! But you dreamed that you dreamt that Lolith would attack at the graveyard. She's close. What if that's a decoy? Yep, she's distracting us. Everyone, get behind me! Brace yourselves, these shadows are much stronger than what you find in the woods. They look exactly like what we find in the woods, but you say they're stronger. We don't have any a real AoE options, do we? Guardian. Hmm. Oh, you actually do have group healing. But uh, hmm, let's, for now, let's just provoke. Hmm. Okay, this one does some AoE. Oh, the birds are weak to lightning. Okay. I need to have more people charge up.
Guardian, meditate. There's a bit of lag. Bravo, bravo. She has a dog. A doggo. I suppose my shadow beast could use some work. Well, you brought kids with you? Ha ha. Well, you brought a dog with you. I'm surprised, love. I didn't know you needed an emotional support dog. I don't. Strider's hungry, and just so happens there'll be plenty of corpses for him to chew on after I'm done. You're disgusting. I know, right? Don't you love it? This stops today, love. I won't let you friend Kai Town ever again. Really? And just how do you plan to do that? You know my blade's long enough to shish kebab all three of these children, right? Ugh, there's no fun in killing kids, Freya, so I won't. I'll let the shadows do it for me. Ha ha, prepare to die. That's so much... Uh, uh, do I even have any good AoEs options here? I'm coming for you, Freya. You won't defeat me so easily this time. This is no good. There's just simply too many of them for... for our small team to handle. It's a little bit mage or physical fighter. I, I don't know. <laughs> Give up now and maybe I'll grant you a swift death. Oh, I have to break that barrier! Oh, that's a barrier. While it remains intact, lowest health and reach strength are multiplied. But we don't break it soon. So, remember the technique we practiced together. It's time to let it loose. Shieldbreaker, are you sure I'm ready? Oh, of course. Take the lead. I'll be right I'm right behind you. Shieldbreaker, team attack with Freya. I may want to... I'm gonna use a. Maybe I should use a potion instead in case Thomas cannot be healed in time. Or should I. I don't know which I should risk. Wait, but does this use up her, Freya's own action? Okay, good. She can still. It doesn't use up all her actions. Okay. As long as the other partner is alive, it works. But I'm gonna have a hard time regaining the momentum like this. I need to take out the wolf so I can... So I can regain my composure. I need a flame pillar Lilith as well. Okay, I need to recover your MP. Impact. There. We're making some headway. Repose stay. Did I even weaken you at all? And also, I want to bleed you out... ...later on. Group healing. Meditation. Two attacks in one turn. How do you beat this by person by yourself, Freya? It seems kind of unfair if they can move twice per turn. I need to deal some DOT-type damage to you. Uh, I need to recover more MP.
Ah. I don't know if I even proc a flame pillar. It's uh, at all. Group heal. Impact. Ugh. One more brave slash before we start recharging again. You still need to focus, then. I'm gonna use provoke just in case. Impact. Damn it! I can't respond to that. Not good, I need a riposte. Ah, Keep focusing. You should focus as well. The one time my counterattack works, she has a barrier up. Cool. She'll uh, break her. Might as well focus again since uh, you're, you move too fast. You will do a group heal. Thomas, I, I, I don't know if you're faster or sh slower than Sarah, actually. Ah! EMOTIONAL damn it! Damn it, meddling kids! What cliche villain line? And why did you choose such an obvious point of attack? You're just a clone, aren't you? You're probably just a, a doppelganger while your real self is attacking the village. You're all barking no bite, Lilith. Now give up! Huh, as if I ever let you claim victory over me. Adios, see you soon! No, Lilith, wait! Bye-bye! Did we do it? Did we beat her? Yes, but I'm sorry, let her get away again. Why does she keep running away? What, what's she even getting out of all these hit-and-run attacks? Yeah, but we still kicked her ass. Man, that was awesome. But she was w way too strong. I still don't understand how uh, Freya was able to beat her before. Did she also have a, a, a team of... A, a, a balanced team of RPG uh, characters with her? I'm, I'm surprised you didn't say something witty as she ran. Rep something like, Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Damn, why didn't I think of that? I guess there's always next time, huh? How many times do we have to fight this boss? Let's head home and get some rest, shall we? I'm sure your families are worried sick about you. There's no way it was that simple. Thank you again, Freya, for training the kids and helping us defend Kai Town. I only wish we had a better way to repay you. No worries, Mayor. It's all in a day's work. And Sarah, Jake, and Thomas perform at wonderfully. Hell yeah, I did. I virtually carried these two all the way through the forest. Did you? As I recall, you complained about the river getting your feet wet. I thought you were do we jumped across the river. Yeah, and you should have seen his face when the slime exploded all over him. It was like, Ew, this is disgusting. Oh, it was disgusting. You try tasting slime goo. Yuck, it's rancid liquid meat. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to stop Lola from escaping again. I'm afraid her attacks will only es escalate from here. And that even us four may not be enough to stop it. Oh, that's quite unfortunate. What do you propose we do? I think the best course of action is to arm the villagers. To that, we'll need supplies from the nearby towns. With your permission, I'd like to travel to Arfenas up north. While Sarah, Jake, and Thomas travel west to obtain supplies from Eastport. We're splitting the party? No, we're... we're... Oh no, this, that's gonna be really difficult. Eastport, are you sure we're ready for that? Let's do it, let's kick, uh, go kick some pirate ass. The goal is for you not to kick pirate ass, Jake. I'll admit, I'm hesitant to let the kids travel to Eastport, but if you insist on it, I'll allow it. As long as they get permission from their parents first. Of course, thank you, Mayor. Eastport is a pirate town. Watch what you say around there, and try not to get yourselves into trouble. Maybe we'll recruit a pirate to act as our fourth member. Yeah, this is feeling a bit like some of the old Legend of Hero games, where you have a core team, but you keep getting new guest characters every area you go to. Upset pirates aren't something you want to deal with, believe me. We'll try our best. Hey, you know what they say, if you can't beat them, join them. 
Thank you for the opportunity. I'll make sure we succeed and that Jake doesn't try to become a pirate. Oh, come on. You can't say you've never wanted to be one. I can. My parents would never allow it. Or you, for that matter. May I be a pirate or say cool to your parents? Guess that's, that idea's off the table. Stop by my house before you leave. I'll give you a list of supplies and goods to borrow with. Our friendship with Eastport is tumultuous at best. I prefer not to deal with them if I can help it. Do we get any experience for that battle? We don't see their exact stats, only their experience and drops. Oh, I see, there are actually alternate versions. They use almost the same art, but they're darker. Still like the thunder. Is there an entry for Lilith herself? I don't see her. Huh, that is weird. Maybe she really was holding it back in that battle, just testing the waters before trying something even worse next time. Everything's cleaned up, so I'm hitching a ride of Freya back to Arfenas. Now I've finished my painting of the shadow creature, I wonder what I should paint next. Actually, I'd love to paint Freya. I wonder if I could convince her to pose in a dress. Probably not. I think the only thing she'd be willing to wear is a new suit of armor. Gary's shop doesn't have much, but his items are cheaper than anywhere else. Hmm, I guess I'll have to go west. Funny how that works. Huh? Eastport is to the west. Yeah, now that I think about it, the directions are all... Uh, uh, the, the, na the name of the town sounds wrong. Eastport to the west. Not Westport. Maybe the pirates did this on purpose in order to confuse their en any enemies who might try to f find their hideout. Yeah, so that, that makes sense. The enemies here did not respawn, though. The ones inside town itself. Only in the wild, wild do they respawn. I met King Vagrant once, you know. You might not believe it, but it's true. He's a rapscallion, all right. I heard he ran away to host the fighting arena in Baloom. When his grandpa, the old King Stray, found out, oh boy, he wasn't happy. Stray, you don't mean that Stray, do you? Wouldn't he be, like, over 100 by now? Yep, elves li live long lives, lassie. Stray may be 115 years old, but he's still kicking. He doesn't look a day above 40. Why do elves get to be the ones who live so long? It's not fair. Living that long isn't always a good thing, lass. It's a blessing and a curse. When you live that long, eventually you outlive all your friends, family, and the culture you were brought up in. And you become callous, bitter, resentful. Stray became that kind of man. That's why he gave up the throne for to his grandson. Never thought of it that way. Now I almost feel sorry for elves. Jameson's stories go grave a bottle of ginger ale. Let's see. A crave wine, a box of supplies, oh, and your medication. That should be all of it. Thank you so much, Guinevere. I'm forever in your debt. Don't mention it. I just need to stop by Dom's and deliver his tea supplements. I'll be sailing back to Halonia. Supplements? I didn't know he had a deficiency. I guess so, though he always laughs and says, Oh, they're not for me. Men, am I right? Anyway, take care. I'll be back next month. Oh, excuse me. Okay, that was just a cutscene. It doesn't truly advance a story yet, but it might soon. A mysterious NPC talking about medication. There, now I have a more recent manual save. You all get to go to Eastport and I don't? No fair. We're going to Eastport, Nana. We'll be back soon, I promise. Eastport, oh heavens, please be careful. So much is happening lately. I don't know how much more my heart can take. Oh, Nana, stop it. You're gonna live to be 100. 100? Oh gosh, I'm only 86. By then, you'll be settled down with kids of your own. Oh, that would be a sight, wouldn't it? Uh, I don't know about that, Nana. Ah, I know, dear, I know. Be careful and bring me back a souvenir, would you? You're going to Eastport, huh? I wish I could tell you not to go, but you've grown up, you're grown adults. You all can make your own decisions now. But if you ever need anything, don't hesitate to come back home. Doors always open. Free healing. We're 
traveling to Eastport, Mother. We'll be back soon. Eastport? Really? No, really? Did Freya tell you to go there? I think she's gone too far this time. Mother. You're an adult, though, Thomas. I can't stop you. Jake, you're going with him, right? Of course I am. It's Eastport. How can I not? I thought so. Speaking of Eastport, Jake, my husband brought up an interesting idea for you the other day. You're, it's a ninja shurikens, right? Have you ever thought of combining them with firepower? Uh, fi uh, fire powder? Fire powder. That's a cool idea, but it's kind of dangerous. If the shurikens blew up on me, I'd be toast. Yeah, I was worried about that. Thomas, you're a wizard, right? Couldn't you just, like, enchant shake shurikens or something like that? Ooh, they get a team attack now. Enchant shurikens. You know, I probably could do that. With enough practice, that would be both safe and effective. Exploder shuriken. Team attacks replace existing skills with even better ones, but they require the other person to be alive, right? Oh, but it'll revert to its original skill, so I still have something to fall back on. Okay. So I want to keep everyone alive as much as possible. Hell yeah, this is awesome, thanks. What will you do without me, huh, right? Huh. Be free, have fun, stay safe, alright? Bit of an issue, though. The original shuriken is non-elemental. Okay. Oh no, it's still non-elemental. Okay, good. It's still tied to my weapon, so that means it won't uh, overwrite the weapon element with fire. Okay, good. That way I can still target uh, different weaknesses if the enemy is resistant to fire. Good, good. They actually fought that far ahead. Hmm, shield slam. Unfortunately, we get the basic one now instead of the... A group uh, instead of the team version with Freya. Oh wait, I didn't I didn't get his tonic last time. Whoops. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about opening them. Sorry, I guess I know better than to ever try that now. Each of a heart shaped stamp. Don't tell. Uh, what? And considering the plot of Night Bewitched, what if these are actually from Lilith? What if she and Lilith are in cahoots? They attack... They go to different towns, Lilith stages an attack, Freya uses this as an excuse to get the towns to be better armed, so in case... Uh, so that they'll be prepared for real threats down the road. Maybe that's what the, the, her angle is, I don't know. And she, she trains a bunch of locals from each town to become stronger, like us. So that, by the time a real threat shows up, We'll be able to handle it. I think if Lilith really wanted to, she could actually destroy this entire town. Hey there, you're just in time. What do you uh, need all the wine bottles for? Alcohol is a commodity. There aren't many wineries on the island, so it's easy to barter with. Well, I never would have thought of that. Can you teach me more about bartering? Of course, as soon as you return from Eastport, I'll teach you all about it. Anyway, take this with you. Supply list. Here's a list of supplies we need and a crate of wine to pay for them. That should be enough. Try not to get yourselves into trouble, all right? Otherwise, I don't think your parents would be too happy with me. Hmm, but I can also go to the mines south of here. Which is better to go to first, the mines or Eastport? I'm sorry, Rufea, I'm still not ready yet. Is there a cutscene for leaving? Not long ago. Huh? Is that the end of the demo or something? Or th Wait, what's going on? Gwyn, hey, wait up! Oh, my dear cousin Rufeo, to what do I owe the pleasure? You know I hate. You know I hate it when you greet me like that, asshole. Gwyn, let me come with you this time, please. No. Why not? You know perfectly well she's not ready to see you yet. Plus, and plus, I promised her I wouldn't tell you where she is. I have no intent on breaking that promise. Huh? This. Freya. An old friend, huh? I'll keep delivering your letters to her, nothing more. Oh, I guess my fury was wrong then. I guess those letters weren't from Lola. Has she read them yet? I don't know. An, an ex? Can you at least tell me if she's doing okay? She's fine, Rufea. When she's ready to talk, I'll let you know. Okay, I'll wait as long as it takes. You might be waiting for a while. Thanks for playing. This is the end of the demo. Feel free to run around more explore Caddy Cave if you haven't already. The Absinthia Kickstarter campaign is live. Would you like to take a look? Uh, not right now. So, okay, good. They didn't actually boot me back to the title screen. They, they, I'm still allowed to explore and stuff. Okay, good, good. 
I was afraid I lost my chance to do any more exploration. You say it's the end of the demo, but this is a full-on dungeon. So is the cave down here. Okay, but I remember seeing something up north here. Some items I might have missed. Really? No, I guess not. I thought... No, there is an item. Life spring. So how much does the demo lock me out of locations anyway? Wait, Eastport was this way, right? No, Eastport is west of here. But it's called Eastport, shouldn't it be east? Maybe, this is northwood, so this, this is technically north, isn't it? That's true, which would mean Eastport is southwest of where we are now. Oh, this is too confusing. Let's just turn around and go southwest then. This area is closed off for a demo. Thanks for playing. Closed off for what? what the, who the heck is running on these signs? A demo. Yet more evidence that our world must be a simulation. Maybe that's Lilith's real goal. Maybe she wants to break the simulation. Don't get started on that again. What do you call it? Exit, exert, exa... Ex existential dread. Yeah, that. Sir, quick. Smack him before he gets all mopey. Alright, hold still. Stop, stop. I'm fine, I swear. See? No existential dread. Good. Now let's go somewhere else. This is actually going to be the uh, be the plot of the game. Yep. Hmm, I noticed. That, yeah, sign is actually blocking off the rocks I need to, to jump on in order to get to the other side. We can't just kick the sign over. We uh, Right now, uh, all I can really do is explore the south cave and hope I'm uh, not too underleveled for it. I'll just have to grind up slowly until I'm actually ready. Thanks for tuning in in this Let's Play of Absinthia. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.